Hey guys, so here's some jackfruit. This is what the seeds look like. The seeds look like. And I'm trying to pull out some pockets of fruit. Um, wow, look at that seed. It's a beautiful fruit. It's known as the poor man's fruit. In uh, India, they don't like jackfruit as much as places like Bangladesh. But it's uh, one jackfruit can feed a whole family. It's very filling. It's not as like soft and sweet as I thought it would be. It's more, I guess, starchy. It's very filling. I'm trying to see. Yeah, you gotta kind of work for it. Oh, uh, bowling ball. Okay. So you don't want to eat these. A bowling ball. It's kind of remind me of like flower petals, like artichoke little petals. Stringy petals. So this was a dollar a pound? Yeah, it was a dollar a pound, yeah. Or maybe two, no, yeah, a dollar a pound. Okay. So here's a piece of fruit. One tree can produce between 100 and 200 fruits mm. a year. Wow. Yeah, and it's much more sustainable than rice. It's kind of like a staple food. Mm. The petals are eaten, too. Oh. The fleshy petals are eaten. The inner... In, in, uh-huh. Oh. Jackfruit has a multiple fruit composed of a hundred thousand individual flowers. Yeah, the they're all flowers. Well, maybe I'll try that. Yeah. I guess I'll show you what else I got. First, we'll go here. Okay. You guys got this pokey. Yeah. Stra strawberry and cookies and cream. Some hard some candies. Hard candies. Some, some sweet chili sauce. You get that soft tea? Uh, I don't know. It's okay. Um. Okay. Now we have. I got some organic miso. That was about three dollars. This was a dollar. Soft tofu, there was firm tofu. I've actually never, well, I bought tofu a long time ago, but yeah, I don't know much about tofu, but I'd like to start cooking with it. Okra, not sure how I'm going to have that, but I just want to like taste it and get to know the fruit. You know, like a lot of the stuff, I was like, oh, I don't know how to like cook with this. Like tofu, I don't know what kind of meal I'm going to make. I'm just going to steam it up, eat it plain. You know what? It's not going to be the best, but I'm going to get to know the, the food, how to cook it. So, I just encourage you guys to do that. Like, a lot of the stuff I didn't know what it was. But I knew, like, jicama, I was, like, considering getting that. And, like, I don't know how to cook it, but just Google it and just eat it plain. Or, you know, figure out how to eat it and just get to know the foods, try different things. I think overall it's a little pricey, but the prices are actually very good. Like, this was a dollar. This was, I think, like, two for five. So, yeah, not too bad. Uh, these were a dollar each, and these were like a dollar something, a little bit of change. Anyways, they had regular soy milk, and then they have this, which is black soy milk. So I want to try that like right now, but I still have that jackfruit in my palette. Mango and pineapple. Miso, I've never tried. Well, I'm sure I have, but I've never bought it. I'm sure I've had it in some dish snuck in there, but I really don't think so. It's fermented soybeans. So now I'll take you into my room and show you what I got there. This is pink guava. This is regular guava. And we also got mixed fruit. I got a bunch of those. Okay, onward. Computer here? Oh, what they come oh, yeah, here? Let me show oh, yeah, you. Okay. Yeah. It's like they eat this part here, like that. Come yeah, here, the, the, the here. tough, starchy stuff. Huh. They're showing how they're they're like pulling these out. Hey. Hey. 
see they're doing that. That's what they're eating. Yeah, no, that's the fruit inside of the really? flowers. Yeah, I don't see the white petals. Ooh, stinks. Oh, yeah, and it's very <laughs> sticky like, like glue. Poopy. Yeah, they say they use the glue for, like, glue. Well, yeah. You're not supposed to eat the glue. Oh, okay. You're supposed to, because it kind of oozes out. You're supposed to, from, like, the core. <laughs> you like it? You like it? Okay. Really? Like overcrowded. Okay. And okay, this is what I got. I got some yams. I'm hoping that these are like the bright. You can't really see that well. Hoping these are like orange inside. I got some garnet yams that I was like, oh, they're so good from Whole Foods, but I think they were very expensive. These are some Thai bananas. My mom was like, are, those, are you sure they're not plantain, plantains? I don't think they are. I'm going to let them ripen and see what happens if I can eat them. or, You know, I'm not too worried. I like trying new things. Okay. I got this. This is miso ramen. They had chicken ramen. I made sure to get a vegan kind. I kind of was like having a little panic attack about what ramen to get. They had aisles and aisles of ramen. I had no idea. I guess I didn't get the fresh one that was like in a wet pack that you freeze. I kind of wanted that kind. Something a little more fresh than this. This seems a little processed. I mean, look at those ingredients. But it's going to be good and I get to... Well, that's why I got them. I wanted to get into miso, but then I got an actual tub of miso. But I thought, oh, this is a cheap way to try out some miso ramen and see if I even like it. But I'm sure, like, I'm sure I'm going to eat all those. Like, they were like two for five or two for six. This was two or three dollars. This is red bean paste. Um, there's a YouTuber that I watch, Unrested. He lives in Japan. And I remember a video he said that Japanese people eat a lot of red bean paste. It's their dessert. They put it inside mochi. I really want to make mochi. I love mochi. I was going to buy some, but it's just too expensive. I've tried it before, so I know what it tastes like. Um, but this, I might just have it. Yeah, well, obviously, I don't have any plans for it, but I'm just going to eat it like that. Like, it's going to be kind of heavy, but whatever. I'll get to know what red bean paste is all about, and it has sugar in it already. Um, I'll just show this. These are um, some noodles, which I should have got rice noodles. These are just wheat noodles, but um, yeah, I really want to make some fresh um, ramen noodles. This is a little bit thicker one, and they're organic, and they're cheap. They're like two for five, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, like I was like, no idea about the ramen noodles. So if you guys know, like I just want like simple, like I want a huge bowl of ramen noodles, simple veggies, you know, just a staple recipe. Make that all the time. And yeah, if you guys know, uh, like good recipe or like good noodles to buy, should I get the ones in the wet pack or are these okay? really fast and just healthy ramen noodles because I'm not going to buy those like chicken ones anymore. Well, the oriental kind is good. That's vegan. But, um, it's okay. It's just so processed. I don't really crave it and it's so salty. I, whatever. <laughs> um, last thing I got was, um, the soup spoon. It had a smaller version, but I like this version. It's a little bit bigger. And this will be good for my ramen noodles. And I also saw a video where you can give yourself a facial massage with this, with oil. And that just seems relaxing. And I like that it has double uses and it looks cool. <laughs> like, soup spoons are essential, right? I think so. Anyways, uh, I had a really good time at the Asian market today. My brother got some sake and my other brother got those uh, candies. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, my review, the jackfruit. It's uh, really good. It's really filling. The flavors like bubble gum. Oh. And yeah, I'll try some right now. And I also I got like the some outside of it. It's ginger. Cool. Yeah, let me show that. This, this part here oh yeah, there's cool. duck food there. Yeah. Dinosaur. Imagine that falling from the trees. That's a Yeah. Oh, it stinks so bad. Look at that. Ha ha ha.
Like I've seen, seen some, I've seen like ads on like they actually put up signs in Asia like don't eat jackfruit here. Oh yeah. They have to warn. Yeah. yeah. I, I, you better put it somewhere. There's signs like no dogs, no kids, no jackfruit. Like, yeah, it's, it's really, really funny. I think it's jackfruit or durian. I think is even stinkier. I like it. I like different smells and it's natural. It's just natural. I like it. I'm gonna see like how much fruit is actually in here and I think it's worth the price. I don't know. I mean I'm sure it's much better tasting in Southeast Asia. I'm, I just would like to try it in the actual country to get to know what it really tastes like. This ginger, like I said, like maybe I can make curry with this. I can make curry and make ginger tea and maybe even candied ginger, but I'm not sure about that. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Try new things. And we also saw a durian, which I can um, show you on my Snapchat. Pretty good. They're like, they're like kind of like sticks, but they're like a little bit hidden with like cookies. They're kind of like cookies, kind of like. Cookies. They have like they dipped in like kind of like chocolate or like strawberry. I've I've had those before. They're pretty tasty. It's like a skinny little kind of like cookie with like like they have like a kind of like a chocolate or like a strawberry or. There's a lot of fruit in here, and I'm sure it's high calorie. It's dense. That makes good. I might actually rebuy this. I think it's really good. Like it is like a meal. Like you could eat this whole thing five bucks for a fruit meal. Let's see what these pokey sticks look like. These aren't vegans. Let's see. Oh, they're all, they're packaged. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's gonna open them. You wanna try those? Me. Yeah, sure. Pretty tasty. Like Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, so I just heated up some black soy milk and it's really good. I'm glad that I got it over the regular soy milk. And let's see if I can do this with one hand. I'm gonna put some organic sugar in there. Some organic sugar. Ooh, okay, yeah. And then I'm gonna put some carob powder. This one I will get a spoon. Put some carob. I think that's a bit much, but that's okay. And now I have a vegan version of chocolate milk with no stimulants. really tasty. I prefer the taste over anything else. Any other kind of chocolate milk. Black. Mm. That's some water. Okay, there we are. Oh, uh, okay. Are they done washing? Uh, I That's think they really are. Good. Oh, good. Okay. I think they're done washing. So this is actually uh, a bean as well. I think they are done washing. This comes from a bean. Karab is a bean, and black soy is a bean. So this is a bean drink, a sweet dessert bean drink. It's very good. You want to try? No. Mmm. I got my milkshake. Very tasty. Next, I will try the red bean paste, but I'm not sure if I want to open that can up yet. Thanks for watching. Some uh, duck feet. Uh huh.
Oh, Marco. Marco, come here. Look at this. Look at this, Marco. Look at the mirror. Are they, are they shrimp or crawfish? Look at their alive. Wow, it's the biggest fruit. Um, this, how much was this one? A dollar. Strange, but beneficial fruit. Here's more about the strange, but beneficial fruit. Ooh, you would love all this. You're making like a uh -huh. but, but these smells are bad, tastes good. Don't let it go bad. Dry it, fry it, juice it, or barbecue it. A single fruit could feed your family for an entire meal. Oh. In Bangladesh and other parts of Southeast Asia, the jackfruit is served in a dozen ways. Jackfruit. Video. No. Hello. <laughs> hey. Look, I'm Lara. I just went to the Asian market. I bought. Some <laughs> Hi. So how are you? How's hey. So how's it going? Hey. Uh, you just. Uh,